little source block. We have Half-Life 1 and 2 and Portal 1 and 2. First up is Half-Life, played by Half-Life, played by Cool Kid. And one quick announcement. Um, later on this tomorrow morning will be Borderlands 2. And and the character name choice bit, uh, bid will end 30 minutes before the run starts. So just keep that in mind if you want to donate for that. Don't try to snipe it at the last minute of the game prior. We have a $50 donation from Louie. I love AGDQ. My father was diagnosed with small intestine cancer this year, and my mother's best friend died of surgery complications from having cancer this year. So it's been a rough year. AGDQ reminds me that there is hope, and we need to keep on fighting. Thanks. Thank you, Louie. Also, to give you a quick update on some challenges coming up. Coming up later is Portal. Portal. And you can donate to choose which difficulty we play. Currently, the inbounds category is winning with $2,506. Uh, $2, but Out of Bounds is not far behind at $1,743. And as I mentioned before, there is, a, uh, there is a donation for the character choice for Borderlands 2. Currently, Jermich is in the lead with $1,346 by a sizable margin. Also, for Borderlands 2, there is a donation for the Face McShooty side quest. And currently, that needs four... Th that requires a total of $4,000 for it to be played. And we're currently only at 520, so... If you, want, if you want to see it, get on it. There's also a donation for the guide's name in Borderlands 2, and currently We Love Mr. MV is winning with $2,463. You can also choose which language is played in Borderlands 2, and this is a close one. Japanese is currently in the lead with $7,222, and French is very close behind at $7,090. Just a quick mention of what prizes are available for this block. If you donate $5 between Half-Life, during Half-Life, and ha or Half-Life 2, you have the chance to win. You have a chance to win a, ha a Half-Life poster, donated by Cool Kid, or a Head Crab plushie, donated by Strong Fox. If you donate $10, you have a chance to win a Gordon Freeman head vinyl decal. Go, 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 
And if you donate $15 during both Half-Lives and Portal 1 or Portal 1 or Portal 2, you get the chance to win an actual portal gun donated by Zimbabwe. That is, that's $15 and that lasts through the whole bow block. <laughs> it's fine. All right, I'll give you a counter. Three, two, one, go. All right. Half life, one man. So, like the first five minutes of this run, I'm going to be very chill. There isn't a whole lot going on in the beginning of the game except for you bunny hopping very swiftly through the corridor, black mesa. So really, if uh, so, basically, how <clears throat> moving faster, like bunny hopping. Now, bunny hopping is a okay. I'm, I just lowered my frame rate, which made the guard make a sharper turn in the scanners. A lot of tricks and such in this game is based on what the frame rate, current frame rate is in game. So, for example. Um, um, your movement, if you play with a high frame rate, you air accelerate faster. And if you have a lower frame rate, uh, MCs make sharp turns. Now here's a first ah, instance yeah, of a glitch. Just the this is basically as an like, NPC door glitch. NPCs can open doors that you normally wouldn't be able to open like that. So like their path, like his path was going to go through the door, but since, I don't know, the door just opens because he wants to go through the door. It isn't supposed to open. It's crazy. Also, these gunners are great. They really enhance my gaming abilities. So really, 
This is a oh. rare opportunity I'm going to push these this NPCs the closer, to the, closer to the scanners so that once their speech has finished, they'll be right up against the scanners and we'll be able to scan them immediately. Also, um, there's not a whole lot going on at this point in the run, so if uh, my commentaries want to say anything or the crowd or if you got any donation comments, read up, feel free to do so. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let, let him in now. So really, this is most like, this is like the game I've been playing and running the most. Um, I've been playing Half-Life 1 for on and off for about 7 to 8 years, I believe. So it's sort of a, um, I don't know man, the game sort of means <laughs> a lot to me. Turn out? Sure. Better? Okay. So yeah, I've been running this on and off for about seven to eight years. This, this game just really has stuck with me for a long time. I just don't grow tired of it. Can we get a quick roll call of who's on the couch? Go ahead. Uh, Loaf of Bread 13. Uh, I'm Zimbabwe. Worm. Yeah, glad to have you on the couch, Worm. And the Aperture Science handheld portal device. <laughs> Ooh. Which, by the way, is the donation prize for this block. I think it's a $15 minimum donation. You get in for the drawing at that. Oh, Which for Half Life, Half Life 2, Portal 1, and Portal 2. That thing is amazing. These gunners are also amazing. Do you want hit gunners? Wait. So really, there's nothing much, there's nothing really going on at this point of the game. But once you get out of this test chamber, the game just ramps up uh, in speed, and there is basically no downtime. Don't ah, it's hard to pronounce downtime at all. Pointing it backwards, pointing it. All right. So the sample is just about to come. Out. <laughs> uh, there's a, okay, I need to push this and push it in, push it back. It's very crucial that I push it back. I have to reduce my frame rate here. Uh, okay, I'm actually good. There you go. I need to be up in this lamp. Because uh, if you're up in this lamp, if you play this game normally, you know that you get teleported away during the sequence, but. They forgot to extend the trigger past this lamp, so I'll just avoid entering the trigger. Now, the reason why I pushed out, pushed back the sample was because uh, there are um, alien slaves that fall from the ceiling, and once they hit the floor, they despawn. But by pulling out the sample, one alien slave lands on top of the sample and doesn't despawn. So I'm going to make a quick save here in case I mess this up. I won't be using quick saves a whole lot, just a crucial point in the game. Okay, got it. So that basically is safe like that. So now the run basically begins. Unforeseen, uh, unforeseen consequences just has a ton of cool moments. If you straight run forwards and straight against the wall, you run a little bit faster. Nice. No. It's basically a swift bunny hopping. So I, I play this game without any scripts. There are scripts that basically eat out with the movements. There is, for example, a script that um, uh, like basically bunny hops for you. You get perfect jumps. But I have found a uh, jump to uh, the scroll wheel, which makes it much easier to time, rather than if you were to use the space bar for the jump. This is really straightforward now. <clears throat> Come up is in a long elevator. Now it's a really cool trick here. You can pull this off. You can slide down the elevator. 
avoid taking damage, jump. Get past this cab. Got it. He's gonna grab the armor. There's another neat trick. There we go. Object nice. cool. nice. Another trick, and here's another trick. I grab MCs for the wall. MCs can open up doors for you. And I did an elevator trick, which the level, um, the trigger that takes you to the next level extends, uh, oh, he's in the way. That was nasty. Uh, extends like past the elevator doors. So I can just stand outside next to the elevator door and still reach the next level. Got to kill these headcrabs. Got him. Yeah, it's funny. That. Push this box, jump on top of the head grab, get on top of that. Good. So, really, uh, up until the run is fairly straightforward. So up until I get to Blast Pit, which is, I believe, the fifth chapter of the game. Oh, it's laggy. It's unfortunate. Oh, it hit me. So, really, I'm, I'm going to make another save here because it's quite. Um, there's no really good recovery if I mess this up, because uh, I'm going to perform the NPC door glitch yet again. But if you load a save on the same map that you want to perform the glitch on, it doesn't work for some reason. So you have to like enter the map from the previous level. So I get this. I got it. Open door for me. Bam. That skips like two levels. Pretty tricky. Pretty quick manipulation of the maze. So here's one of the largest skips in the game right here. Rest in peace. First some armor. Now, you're not supposed to be able to grab that scientist before he runs away. Now you can use the MC door trick again. Open the door. Now his corpse is important. He blocks up the door, right? So I would have been trapped. <laughs> And it skips an entire chapter. Yeah, that's basically like the most annoying chapter in the game, I'd say. Because there is a tons of strong enemy grunts and you have barely any like arsenal in order to deal with them. This is not a new trick. Uh, ladders cancel the fall damage. So I'm just gonna take this big drop. And bam. Nice. Drop into the ladder. So if you got any <clears throat> Donation comments read off now is the perfect time because I won't be doing anything in particular for the next 30 seconds. It's gonna be a jump here. We got fifty dollars from See the Reason. Cool kid running Half Life. There are three guys on the couch. Half Life three confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty dollars from, $50 from Pir uh, Pirate Ninja. Prevention is the best cure. Half Life is the best game. I had to reload to say that. That's a really odd glitch. It rarely ever occurs. I got stuck in the elevator. I don't know why that happens at all. It should be fine now, though. It could, but I lost all of my armor and health, which made me uh, pretty much like unable to continue. That was strange. Okay, should be fine now. It's gonna make a save here just in case that occurs again. Should be fine. Now, this map has a tricky bunny hop sequence at the very start. If we get this right. Okay, I got this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so coming up is Blast Beat. This is definitely one of the coolest chapters in our run. Just gonna grab the ladder here again, for the top bottom. So the objective here is to, uh, there are like a bunch of te tentacles in your way. I skipped them though, so I haven't seen them yet. Uh, and in order to defeat them, you need to activate two sources of power. This is the first one. So you need to activate this generator. And this hiding spot is soon a death trap. Don't drop. And you need to sort of activate, there are like this uh, sec uh, map is divided into like two wings. I just completed the first wing. So we have tanks and damage here in the water. It does a lot of damage, but I'll be able to regain that all HP. I'll miss it. You can open up, um, so yeah. <laughs> you can activate things through walls in this game. Oh, here's the tentacles. 
go up. Good. These are pretty much insta kill if they hit you. Okay. Magic if I am harmed. Heading over to the second wing. This, le this level is really annoying. This sewer section, is, it's hard to get a good bunny hop here. They get it. Oh, nah. so that jump is difficult, but it's quite, uh, saves a significant amount of time because you're able to maintain your speed for all this bunny. Load. Oh, the background change. <laughs> That's a ladder trick. Oh god, it's really dark. Oh, sorry. So basically, when I, um, whenever I enter a crawl space, I'll try to enter it by sort of like ducking and then maintaining my speed by bunny hopping, which is way faster than just crawling all the way. So now I've activated both sources of power. I'm heading back to the main room. I'm about to toast this guy. He's getting roasted. He's done that. Now, from nades, these guys are sort of um, affected by the sound, and nades do a lot of very loud noise. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, that was close. Whew. Fine. Boom. So that was a fairly decent blast bit. The elevator was sort of annoying though, but that was, that was good. So. You're not supposed to be able to be out here. I activated the button through the wall. Yeah, and, um. So coming up is power up, which is uh, after, it's like the, uh, actually the shortest chapter in the game, let's be right. We're still not a real, uh, no, we're still in back here. Pay myself. That's my helping here. Let's see if I get this jump correctly. Got it. If you land on the very like right side of that pipe or the edge, you don't take any damage. I might die here. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, I took a lot of damage. I should be fine though. Gonna be sort of low on HP after this boost, but it'll do. Now exploded those uh, exploded those boxes. Uh, two of those boxes contain uh, med kits. Okay, I'm just gonna perform this skip real quickly here. This skips the entire chapter. It's really easy to perform. You can. St oh, there we go. You can stand on trip mines. Oh, I only got one. Okay. That should be fine. It's going to be a bit low on HP here in this chapter. This is a rough chapter. Definitely one of the hardest chapters in the game. Very tight boost. Oh my god, he has barely made that. That's really good. Now I need to kill this soldier. Got him. Perfect. Got hit down. Now this is a really, 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 um, I'd say difficult chapter in the speedrun. Because I have no armor and barely any health and have to get through the entire chapter with this amount of health. Gotta be careful here. Got him. Also, the bunny hopping here, the movement is way harder than it seems. Because uh, this uh, track has a ton of invisible edges that you're prone to get stuck on. So getting a solid on a rail uh, is, this is definitely like one of the most difficult chapters in this video. Don't hit me, good, 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 good. Get that guy, good. Good bunny up. So the, uh, on a rail is just mainly about solid bunny hopping and survival. It's not a whole lot of tricks. Just that guy is sort of funny. But yeah, it's way faster to do this chapter without uh, the train. It's much less. Mm, but okay. Let's get those guys with the nade. Like, enemies are pretty much unable to do anything for a couple of seconds if you shoot uh, or place a nade nearby them. I'm going to abuse that um, uh, a lot throughout this run. Definitely here in Honor I'm going to use it a couple more times. Um, because, um, yeah, there is unable to attack you. Also, that, you're not supposed to be able to go make this trip in one go. But with a well-placed nade, you can uh, destroy the explosive boxes before you get up. 
Uh, I mean, I, oh, I made it. Okay. Now these gunners. Really enhancing it. Oh shit. Okay. okay, got him. I want their nades. Um, action rifle nades are really, really useful. Might be like the most useful uh, sh weapon or shot in the game, especially at this point. Destroy those trick mines. I'm gonna shoot another one here to scare off that guy. Drops two nades. Nade on this guy. Got him. It's sort of this part is sort of crucial. I need to get a good sh first shot. Good first shot. Good bunny. I'm up there. Oh, kill it. Oh, he's alive. I was fortunate. I, think, I thought I managed to get him, but apparently I did not. Would have been a solid chapter if it wouldn't, if it wouldn't have gotten me. There we go, much better. So I hit the button through the wall right there as well, saves a significant amount of time. So uh, now I just gotta wait. Since after you hit that button, uh, so, uh, a 40 second long sequence starts where you have to wait for the uh, uh, rocket to launch into space. I don't really re recall the story of the game, but you have to do it. Also, I just grabbed some health through the wall there by using the same trick. So the queue, you gotta wait for this to finish or else you can't proceed in game. So the sequence is finished once that window starts opening. There we go. And now is also excellent time to go over another donation comment since I want to do a whole lot for the next 30 seconds. Okay, we have $300 from wow. Groundflyer. <laughs> thanks for helping to save whole lives with Half-Life. And thanks to everyone who has streamed for this honorable charity. The entertainment has spoiled me all week. One request, could the audience yell Xbox off to try and turn off anyone who is currently using their Xbox One? Just for funsies. Xbox off! Xbox off! Xbox go home! Great. This is a tricky bunny hop sequence. Nail it. Okay. It's quite rough. Okay, this jump sequence is also hard. This section has also has a tricky object boost. I didn't really explain what object boosting is. Basically, it lets you go really <laughs> fast. <laughs> uh, you use an object. Basically, you use an object, move at a direction, stop using the object, and then jump. And if you do it well enough, you will keep the momentum that you have from when you drag the box. I don't know why they made you move so quickly by holding an item. It makes it really hard to really um, uh, don't get precise movement. See, I'm scaring those guys yet again. <laughs> Got it. One quick announcement, guys. We just beat our donation total from last year's Awesome Games Done Quick. Woo! <laughs> Left hope. Amazing. <laughs> Can I go to help? There we go. Uh, yeah, but the game does what you base it does at this point. Um, there's a vis I saw the visible room, I went into the visible room and got knocked out. What the game really did was it put me into a black room that is behind the visible room. So what I did while I was, you know, supposed to be knocked out was that I went up to right next to the health recharger in the visible room while being in the dark room, and then I use it uh, um, through the wall. All right, so we just got captured and lost all of our equipment. Get it back. These are cool. It's gonna keep the speed from this pipe here. It's able to jump really swiftly. Solid. So we're up to residue proceeding. Residue proceeding along with Blast Pit. And yeah, are definitely two of my favorite chapters in the game to speedrun. 
because they don't have a whole lot of enemies or like combat. They just mostly focus on tight movement. Yeah, just keeping my speed in pipe by jumping. Also, this is being done on hard difficulty. And the difference between the difficulty is um, enemies deal more damage. You deal less da uh, damage to enemies. And you gain less health when you pick up medkits and batteries. Less health and armor. And health recharges and armor recharges uh, replenish less health and armor. So here's some, some dolphin diving. There we go. <laughs> Uh, there is a, pu uh, um, a push trigger at the very top of that um, water, of the water surface, and by holding space and uh, spamming duck, you sort of bob on top of the surface and hit the push trigger multiple times, which gives you ridiculous speed. So this is one of my favorite levels in the game. It's a really cool jump. Get by these things, insta kill, duck jump. And there, cool, perfect. Oh, ah, I had to reload a auto save, unfortunately. That was sloppy. Uh, really, when you fall down here, you lose about, I don't know, at least like 30 seconds. So I might as well reload that auto save since it would really serve no purpose of me just walking up there again. Oh, that's close. So we're up to questionable ethics. This is definitely one of the most hardest, if not the hardest chapter in the game. Really go through it both quickly and efficiently by you know, maintaining a lot of HP and armor. This map is in particular, this map is crucial. God, I hit him. Get his chop. Where's he going? He went down. Okay, pretty good start. <coughs> Have a lot of health and a bit of armor left. It's definitely in good condition. Shoot that guy. Because if you shoot him, you don't even kill him, they just stop attacking for some reason. I have to wait. The alien grunts ascend. Time to jump. Get his mates. The trick mine. There's a guy behind me, he's gonna run into the trick mine, put down these trick mines. These trick mines are gonna kill the head crabs. I need them to be killed in order to, because um, if I don't, the scientists that will, oh, hold on, I'm just gonna do this part. It's a crucial part. I just hit a trigger that triggers a sequence that takes like 20 seconds to finish. And while that uh, sequence is finishing, I'm just gonna collect some things. Okay, good, good. So, what I wanna have after the sequence finishes is the gauss gun. And eight mates have both, which is perfect. Okay, sometimes there's a head still like a head crab alive there, but it wasn't. Get some scare this guy, lower my frame rate so he turns quicker. Start going, perfect. For some reason, if you hit the crowbar there and sort of scare the scientists, it doesn't stop in this corridor. It usually stops for some reason in that corridor. So let's see if there are any enemies here. There may be an enemy ground here. There's not. Okay, you got scared by the maid. Run, dude. Run. Run. Beautiful. That was a pretty solid questionable ethics. I'm not complaining about that. So up next, after this map, is surface tension. I really, this might be the coolest, um, if not the coolest chapter in the game. So here we go. First trick is sort of crucial. This. Okay, that's okay. I lost a lot of armor. But okay, 22. I'm gonna get additional armor in the next map. But what basically happens there is uh, I sort of get stuck inside an acute angle inside um, the cliff, and that stops all of my velocity, including my falling speed. So I'm able to land safely. Yeah, just grab that. I'm really scared of this uh, helicopter. Uh, it can basically kill me, in, kill me in an instant with its missiles and like rip me apart with its machine gun. 
magic gift brood is sort of unharmed, though. I'm just going to make a quick save here in case I die here or lose a lot of progress. OK, I didn't. Perfect. Next level has a really neat uh, trick, a really precise shot. Really cool for the first try. Need the shark just pull, go inside of the go inside the middle, shoot at that angle, and I'm outside. Good level. <laughs> and basically, once you're outside of a level, the game sort of acts as if you're inside of water. I'm gonna take safe here. Good. And the gas gun, if you haven't noticed already. Uh, boost your uh, speed in the opposite direction where you shoot. So it's gonna help. <laughs> That's not good. I have to do what I say. I would say, unfortunately. It's really hard to get by there if you miss, miss that. Nah, mess that up. That. It's a really cool weapon. I love it. So you have a nice cue for this. Start loading. Bang. It's beautiful. This map has a really silly skip. You can just jump over the fence. Skip like the entirety of the level. Oof. Coming up with this trip mine hell. Oof, right. The trip mines everywhere and if you touch one, it's over. It's game over. Oh, head crab, be kind. Oof. That was really close. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to lose the whole, I don't want to keep my armor here. I hit me too much. Okay, good, 16. I still got 16, that's good. Should be safe for this. I want at least like five for the next level. So I'm abusing the uh, gas gun even more. Um, Normally you can't boost upwards. You can only boost horizontally, which okay, that's also precise. You can also to <laughs> destroy that game with just one shot. It's just a whole lot of things going on in this game, especially on this level. It's just non-stop action. Um, but yeah, you can't you have to boost against slope. Okay, so this boost boosts out of bounds. Uh, this level has the infamous, well I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but an infamous trick. Scare of those grunts. Scare of that grunt. It's gonna start following me. Go into the door. Bam. Nice. <laughs> Infinite health. <laughs> so what basically there is program error in the game where normally a door deals plus one damage. To you, but this the door in this level uh, somehow deals minus one damage to you, which is well very beneficial for a speedrun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thankfully, and, and that also happens per frame. So the game is running in 100 FPS yeah. right now, so he's getting 100 health per second. Yeah. So I'll stay in there. I don't really know for how long. I'll just be staying here for a bit longer just to be safe. I usually stay in the door for about 30 seconds. That grants me uh, 30. No, not 30. 3,000 health. Um, that should be enough already, which is enough for me to finish the game in a speedy fashion. So the run basically just goes nuts at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you can just, you can, uh, you know, all, so you can just do explosive boosts everywhere and you don't have to be concerned about your well-being at all. You can just go. I have a donation total update. We have raised over four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Nice. Oh man, look at the triple candy. The triple cannon. Okay. Oh, so messy jump. This boost is difficult. I don't get this very often. Oh, that was beautiful. It's okay, I can take a, lot, a whole lot of damage. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a new trick. Use the Hornet gun in order to reverse the door. 
which made it work close quicker and the next level load faster. So I'm gonna kill this guy right here. But it, it's not able to crash my game. It's sort of slow, but it's safe. Uh, that guy, if you get hit by a hornet during a level transition, the game is very prone to crash. So I normally don't kill that guy, but in order to be safe and then uh, avoid getting a crash, I kill him. Oh, the big boost. It's so dark in here. So that's a... How are you still up there? Level has a new trick. The objective in this level is to kill the four uh, grunts. Got the double kill there. Specific trick. I got it. Cool. I can't see where it is. Oh, yeah, he's dead. But by throwing that nade in a specific position, I scared the scientist, so he ran through this door and opened the door for me, so I didn't have to wait for him to activate the scanner. Also, this is like 20 seconds of nothing. Yeah. In the meantime, we have a $100 donation from Aiden. Can't stop donating. Must empty wallet. Send help. <laughs> Also, there's a hundred dollars from Vikinos, donated in honor of my late grandma last year, and will continue the same this year. Thank you all for taking the time to do this. Coming up is a big, big boost. Skips a lot. Oof. Oh, no, no, no. no, I fell off. <laughs> it's okay though. With infinite amount of health, you get infinite amount of tries. I think my health doesn't run out, of course, that would be bad. Oh, that's a cool double boost. A grenade. Oh. How do I get over here? Is there a self cost? I can do this. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you shoot uh, uh, um, the gas gun at a specific angle, it the um, shot will uh, bounce back onto you. Open up that door. You open up that door. This skips the, this entire sequence, which is several minutes long. Also, there's a neat skip here. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be like a two minute long sequence where you have to wait for a scientist to open up a portal to send. And normally you're not, oh that was swift. You're not able to go into the teleporter that early because there's a kill trigger. Well, not a kill trigger, but a damage trigger that deals about 5,000 uh, hit points of damage to you. But by shooting a hornet, this hornet acts as like a living entity. Um, but by shooting the hornet into that trigger, you disable the trigger for about half a second. And during that time frame, you're able to just go through the damn trigger and enter the uh, teleporter. I think I'm supposed to. So this is Big Mama, also known as Gornarsh. Where? It's the beginning. We're looking anyway as well, Adam. I'm entirely sure what it is. So it's really you know, a trivial fight. I'm just lowering up, oh, trying to lower my frame rate when she is about to turn around to speed things up. So if you got any you know, donation comments, now's the appropriate time to go <clears throat> through one or two or one. Okay, we have an anonymous donation of $100. Congrats on breaking last year's donation total. Here's the blowing away this year's 500K goal and contributing to a worthy cause. Thanks for the entertainment you provided this week and congrats to all the speedrunners. So I thought it was just about to finish here. A good fight. 
So normally you do have to defeat her, Big Mama, but I'm gonna skip her by blowing up the uh, floor that she blows up when she dies. <laughs> there we go, peace out, Big Mama. Now I'm gonna setting up a boost here. You can line up the boost for this on the next level. Like that. that was perfect boost. It's really good. Because your like view angle is uh, the same. Interlooper. Interlooper is a really fun chapter. So plenty of tight tricks. I get this. Good jump. Good boost. Solid. But yeah, you can just skip killing her, and you can even teleport her into um, Interlooper by letting her fall into the teleporter. Okay, that was sort of lucky. So really, this Sen is usually where mo it's like a really dreaded chapter. Most people just dislike this chapter. Some even hate it. But with infinite amount of health, it's just it's easy. It's like it's it's a really simple chapter once you. Um, well, it's going. Ah. Big double boost. That. Oh, I fell down. Uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> so coming up is the final boss. Uh, time is when I deal the finishing blow to the boss. This boss is sort of, it's not difficult, but it's easy to mess up. I oh, missed a shot, unfortunately. This fight's going to be a bit slower than usual. Dude. Yeah. There is some optimal fight, but... So this boss is really easy to defeat in a speed gun. You can just stay here for the entire fight and the heal and you can't do anything at all. Yeah. And a lot of new players struggle against the uh, healing because they don't conserve their ammo very well throughout the uh, last chapters of the game. But if you just save enough um, ammo, you can defeat him really quickly. Oh, that's done with the game, and that was good. Yes. Yeah. Done. Done. These are great. <laughs> Get your gunners today. At about 39.25, you might have stopped the timer a bit late, not sure. I'll blow 40. I'm satisfied with that. 40 is pretty good. Nine minutes too long. Yeah. <laughs> so I could do the hazard course if mm, the nation Senate is met by now or if people want to see it. It's like, it takes like three minutes to complete or could just go on to hazard too. All right. It's only three minutes, though. Too bad. I ain't getting it, man. I ain't getting it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is the ending. Um, G-Man tells you about. I don't. I don't even know what he talks about, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the G-Man knows what the G-Man's talking about. Let's be honest. Yeah. I agree. He's being very vague intentionally. Yeah. That's Half Life in under 40 minutes. Pretty cool. Next up is Studio. Yeah, it's gonna do Half-Life 2. So stay tuned for that. This is the fastest way of ending uh, the game. You can just crouch inside of the door and you hit the um, teleportation, which will make you hit the teleportation that brings you to your credits instantly once it starts opening. How do your eyes feel? They feel good. <laughs> they feel really good. <laughs> Gunners. Apparently they really work. It's really <laughs> a, a triple candy. It's running dedicated counter and the triple candy glitch. It's fun to name like that. Anyways, um,
That's play making too. Now I'm limping too. Half of two. Shit. I'm still gone. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, boy. Good stuff. You did good. Guys, we'll be taking a quick commercial. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're not gonna, I know you're not going to be on for Borderlands 2, but um, I should mention that they're going to have to cut off the language donation and send it about an hour before they start because they have to download the language files mm -hmm. and they can't.